Hello, my name is Cooper Leg here at Malili, and today we will be covering spreadsheet projects from Blackout. Now, as for all projects, you want to go into the workspace level of relativity, the Blackout tab, and the Projects sub tab. Then you want to want to hit Create New Projects right here. There are five types. Today, we will be focusing on spreadsheet projects. Once you're in here, these three items at the top are the required fields for any project, the project name, which will be spreadsheet demo, the save search, which will be account overcharge for this example, markup set will be primary, and you have these three options right below that are unique to Excels. Redact all headers and footers will redact all headers and footers. Redact all Excel objects will redact all Excel objects. Ignore certain rows and columns. Give you this extra option bar here. Your rules will ignore whatever it finds in certain rows and columns. I see this often used to leave a header row unredacted. Once you get into the rules section itself, we have redaction highlights, inverse and inverse highlights. Today we will just be doing redactions. Markup reason is completely optional. Since we will be redacting person information, I will put in PII. Markup scope, there are five options here. So we will be doing cell. Markup subtypes, you have black, text, and white. If you choose text, you get it into which markup text you would like to replace the match text, but today we will just be doing black. Today, as for rules, we will be using one regular expression. This one will be to redact the email. We have a library of regular expressions that can be used to redact common things. All you have to do, oh, sorry, that is credit cards. All you have to do is copy and paste it into relativity. Since I have already done this once before, however, Mine is saved. Now if you hit create a project, it will bring you to this next page where you have a couple more options. You can run the project right now. You can go back to the previous screen to edit it more. Copy the project, archive the project, or delete the project. And then there's also this upload rules CSV button. And we have a pre-made CSV for this particular project. That will replace people's names with their account numbers. And then if I hit this button, it'll upload it fully. You can get a template CSV from our website as well. You can just go there and search import template, CSV import template. You'll be able to find it, and it'll give you instructions on use. Now that I have the rule CSV uploaded, I'm just going to hit run on this project. With this project just being one spreadsheet, I doubt it'll take more than 30 seconds. You can see the documents being prepared. There you go. This is the results screen. You can see there's the rules down in this drop down, some details on the job, how long it took. If you click on either of these, it will bring you to a save search that will show which documents were affected by this project. And once it loads, it will show you the redactions that have been placed. There we go, we can see that we're on the correct markup set. The account numbers have replaced all the names through our CSP import, and through our regular expressions, all the emails have been redacted. I hope this helps you learn how to set up a Blackout job. Have a good one.